Okay, I know that we're not in the States and that uh, American money isn't all that common this far north, but does anyone here have a $2 bill, an American $2 bill? No. Okay, now I have one, but should you personally run across a $2 bill, I think it's important that you keep it because they've stopped printing these in America. They stopped printing maybe 10 years ago in America. Uh, the reason they stopped printing them in this particular case, in case you haven't seen a $2 bill before, all the presidents are on the back and of course Jefferson is on the front, which was a, an early president of ours. The reason they stopped printing $2 bills and the reason you should keep them is because since they stopped printing them, people start hoarding them and they become less common and therefore their value skyrockets. But the reason they stopped printing them was because people were taking $2 bills just like this, and very slowly, and they were tearing them into two ones. <laughs> See? <laughs> and they feel it's some form of counterfeiting because, you know, you don't have any more money, but you've got an extra bill. And they thought that there was something, because you created the bill somewhere. And so they were quite suspicious about that. Would you fold that for me, please? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. And Oh, that's good. And I'll fold mine like this. See, what you do is you take two ones. See? And you push them together very slowly and you shake. Wait. Oh, there you go. When you shake, you get it too. See? <laughs> so if you get one, you should hold on to it because they're kind of valuable. Magic too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the yeast card? No, I've never heard of it. you never even heard of the yeast no. card? Then I think you'll like this trick. I think you'll like this trick. Uh, you've probably seen it. You mm -hmm. haven't seen it either? Oh, gosh, this will be fun. Okay, <laughs> look. You can have any card you want. That's the good thing about it. Please, any card. Okay. Any one. It doesn't matter. Wait, no, not that one. Oh, no, wow. no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Help yourself. That one. The Queen of Hearts. That's a very interesting card. The Queen of Hearts. Yeah, that's, I believe that that is the, the most favorite card for ladies and uh, it's the queen of hearts yeah uh, I had a magic marker here a while ago and I yeah that's, uh, <laughs> I pull my own magic. Yeah, that's how I got it <laughs> would you <laughs> sign your name across there if you would please okay a number is it um, well a number or my name no I'm just <laughs> very old joke <laughs> and very oh, very yes. bad <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know why it's called the yeast card? Uh, could yeah. you imagine why? Because it's obviously going to come up out of the deck, I would say. It's, it rises, right. Yeah. Yeast rises. Yeah. In fact, that's so obvious, I, I see no reason to do it. <laughs> 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 no, I'll do it very slowly, in fact. You'll take the Queen of Hearts in this particular case, and we'll place it, I guess, looks like maybe 30 cards down. If I just give it a shake like this, since it's the yeast card, it rises to the top and it's still got her name signed on the face of it. That's the, mainly the little shake that does it. But I'll do it again in case you didn't see it that time. You take the Queen of Hearts, you place it, by that time it goes even further down in. Just give it a little shake. And it comes back to the top and it's got your name <laughs> signed across the face of it. Once more? I'll do it once more. Now, in fact, this time, take it and place it about right there, if you would. Okay? Okay? See, so all I have to do is give it a little shake like this, and it comes back to the top. You remember, it's got your name signed across the face of it, which is an important part. A lot of people think I don't actually put it all the way down in, so this time I'm going to take the queen and place it further than halfway down, down in. I'll push it close to the bottom. So would it surprise you if it came to the top now? I don't think you put it in there. Because <laughs> I saw the bottom. No, no, that's the queen. <laughs> Oh, what? Okay. You don't trust me. I oh, get it. Sure. No, I get it. I've, I've been there before. I know. <laughs> no. Sure. <laughs> no, look, look, okay. Oh. Where is it now? I've lost where it is now. Okay, maybe halfway down there. By any chance, do you shuffle cards? No, I don't. Do you shuffle cards? Okay. I won't even look. Go ahead and shuffle. <laughs> oh, and where's the glass, by the way? There was a glass here a moment ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. Place the glass here and give them one cut. Give them one cut and place them on top of the glass. Now, since she shuffled them, I have to go a little further in terms of getting it to rise to the top. But fortunately, it's the yeast card. And how does yeast rise? Heat. Heat. So we're going to apply a very little bit of heat to this. I'll take it 
and I'll strike one match like this and I'll place it right here and since it is the yeast card a little bit of heat will cause it to rise to the top at the count of three all I have to do is wave my hand and then when at three it comes to the top okay so here it goes one two a couple of weeks ago I was doing this same trick and a person shuffled it in so much that it didn't have time to even I lit one or two matches and it still didn't come to the top so okay the count of three one two did that go out? Yes. Ooh. Underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three. Just like that. It, oh, it is still going, but just barely to where you can't even tell. But that was probably enough heat, just that one match, to cause that card to rise to the top despite the fact that you shuffled it in. If you would, please, show them that the card is, in fact, on top. Okay. And remember, she had signed it and she shuffled it in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good trick. <laughs> no, what was on top? This one. No, on the very top. The net? Yeah. Would you open them, please? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Make sure it's signed. And it's signed right here. Just right. That's it. That's a good trick. <laughs> Don't tell her how we did that. <laughs> Could I ask you to hold that? Your lap's full. Could I ask you to hold that? <coughs> Just so we can clear this, the table off oh. is what my main concern. If you would <laughs> take a card. A jack of hearts. Well, a mating of the cards. Where'd the magic marker go? You really want that marker, don't you? Okay, I want to ask you if you would. Sign that card if you would. It's interesting, we had the Queen of Hearts as the yeast card. Uh, the Jack of Hearts is going to perform a somewhat of a similar feat. Uh, and this, it doesn't matter. We're just I'll just go like this and insert it anyway. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and I want everybody to get one last look at it, okay? Now, in this particular case, I'm going to try and mix it as thoroughly as I can into the pack. In fact, I'll shuffle them until you say stop shuffling. Okay. Give them a cut like this. Okay. <laughs> right there, you hey, sure? Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay, fine. Now, have you any idea on what makes the difference between magicians and non-magicians? Skill, probably. Not to as great a, dis a degree as you'd think. The main thing that is the difference between the magicians and the non-magicians is simply that the magicians know the secrets. Do you understand? And the people who are watching don't know exactly what the secrets are. And in this case, since it's the uh, informal atmosphere that it is, would you like to see one of the secrets or some of the secrets? Would you like to see? Yeah. I have one with me here. See, there it is. No. Oh. <laughs> That's how I spell it. <laughs> no, here. I'll show you what's inside. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, do you know what that is? Looks like an elastic band. And you? It's a variable tension gripper. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll take it out for me, please. Okay, in a lot of cases, I'll have two, and I'll give them a choice, but in this case, we just have one, but it is a very good one. <laughs> okay? <laughs> now, I'm going to completely encircle the deck with this rubber band. I... Does the cameraman have any idea what's coming next? Okay, so I guess it won't really matter at this particular point. Um, for those who are watching, I'm going to ask you for the meantime to direct your attention towards the ceiling. The deck is entirely... Well, you don't trust me. <laughs> she doesn't take her eyes off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Watch very closely. All I have to do is very slowly take the deck and throw. Oh, oh isn't that me? And one card sticks to the side. Oh, that's my name on the <laughs> Thank you for being a good audience. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. I can get it down. No, it doesn't come down. No, it doesn't come down. Maybe you should have put your number on that. <laughs> but it doesn't come down. Yeah. Yeah.